What's up, everybody? What's going on? Welcome back to the show. As the jazz music faded out, welcome back to the show. Um, here we are. Here we are. Once again. And I am going to announce that I have a new setup. <laughs> I swear to God, every single video, I say, I have a new setup. Today is the final setup. But uh, today is actually the final setup that I have, and it gave me chills to see that this is finally it. You know, this is, this is how I'll be filming my videos from now till I don't really know, but the, um, this is it, you know. Uh, I have my studio lights that I finally purchased. If you look at my older videos, it was so dim that, like, I had shadows just everywhere. I had, like, a shadow. This is, like, how my face was. It was ridiculous. Um, and then I had too many studio lights, and then I had to tone it down a little bit. Uh, I have my monitor to the right, in which I am practicing to not look at, because all I see is myself moving right here. Just a big me, just right here. So I have to look at the lens. Not right here, but the lens. Um... The camera with a new lens that I feel like is pretty good in focusing. Like, I think I think this is a pretty clear camera, if you ask me. You know, here's my yellow hand because I don't go tanning, so I'm yellow. Um, the tripod, the microphone. Wait a minute. The if I get one more text on this MacBook, I'm gonna flip. I'm going to flip. Um, anyway, you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, Yeti microphone that's black. You had a silver one. Correct. If you look at my previous videos, for some odd reason, it malfunctioned a lot because I had it for like three years. So finally it came in, the new black one. The foam filter, look at this. The microphone stand. The microphone stand came in. Um, the MacBook, and finally, the back, the back wall, the backdrop. I'm really far away from this wall, by the way. Like this is my arm fully extended. I have to actually move back a little bit. So I'm like, really, I think I'm like six feet in front of the wall. But anyway, this is it. This is how I'm filming my videos from here on out. Um, welcome to the show. <laughs> what are we gonna talk about? Let's talk about exercise. I want to talk about exercise today. Here's the thing about exercise and dieting. What a lot of people don't understand is that it literally only has to do with calories. That's it. It would only, it would be amazing if all these YouTubers, these fitness YouTubers that spill all this advice um, to all their fans, uh, it'd be amazing if they just simply told them, huh, count your calories. It's amazing because I fell for it. I'm a 22 year old man. And I haven't really struggled with weight. I'm 5 feet 9 inches, and I've been between 170 and 175 for a lot of my life, actually. Um, and that's just the way it always has been, and I think that's the way it'll always be. Every time I weigh myself, I'm either like 172 or 174 or just 170 flat. So I'm always in between that range. But, you know, sometimes I would like to lose weight. Sometimes I like to go down to like 150, you know, 150 pounds and 5 foot 9. It's not bad. Or, like, sometimes I like to gain a lot of muscle, and I like to be, like, 220. And I fell for it when I was, like, like nah, when I was, like, 18, not 22. I was, like, a freshman in college. I went to the gym, uh, left my dorm and went to the gym. and Or, excuse me, left my home, not dorm. Left my home and went to the gym and just saw these big guys. And I was, like, okay, well, I have to be big now. So, <laughs> so I bought this, you know, workout regimen, you know, 17, 18, just starting college. You want to, like, impress the women and stuff. And I started working out, and then 300 bucks I paid for, um, what's his name? Uh, actually, I'm not going to say the YouTuber's name, but he's still famous till today. Four years he's held up. Four years. Um, and I bought his workout regimen, his online coaching program, and it was a ripoff in hindsight because I could have just found all these videos online or I could have found basic workout plans just from the trainer at my local gym. But I paid 300 bucks for these sheets of paper that told me to do like 300 push-ups or something. You know, we're going to start, start you off with five sets of, of uh, 
bench. I paid 300 bucks for somebody to tell me to do five sets of bench, for, of a bench. Freshman year of college, I'll never forget, I still have the email. Uh, I, I think I still have the email because I've had the same email since like high school. But I still have the exact same email where this, this person goes like, thank you for ordering online this program, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you fall for it as a kid. You fall for it and you want to get real, real in shape. But in reality, it's all just calories, guys. It's all just counting calories. Count your calories. Today, I had a hoagie, which was 500 calories. Then I had four servings of potato chips, which was 450 calories. So I had 1,000 calories of a hoagie and potato chips. Then I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which was 280 calories. Then I had three chicken drumsticks, which was 500 calories. 500 plus 280 is 780. 1,000 plus 780 is 1,780 calories. To top it all off, I had one serving of rice, which was 120 calories. So I had 1,900 calories for the whole day. But look at the diet that I had. Hoagie, potato chips, chicken drumsticks, and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That was what I had. Yet, I fit my 2,000 calories in. It's all about counting your calories. Um, I've been between 170 and 175 for the last um, like six years. I don't know, since I went through puberty. When I was like 16, I just shot up to 5'9 and pretty much just like stayed uh, like that till, till I was, well, till today, I guess. Um, and my sophomore year of college, um, I discovered calories. Seriously, sophomore year. And I weighed myself. And I was like, huh. I was like 173. And I was like, you know, I kind of like this way. I kind of like the way I look. I'm not too bad. So I like to stay here. So what I did was I downloaded an app and I just maintained. And it said you need 2,000 2, calories. All right. Three years later now, I'm out of college. Just graduated in May. And 2,000 calories. And I'm still, every time I weigh myself, I'm in between 170 and 175. Just count your calories. I'm not going to sit here and act like I know what it's like to be 400 pounds. I'm not going to sit here and act like I know what it is to struggle with obesity or something because I, I genuinely don't. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I do because if I did, that would be disingenuous. That would be insulting and ignorant. So I don't really know. But all I know is that after doing a lot of extensive research, if you just want to lose weight and be at a decent number, um, just just count your calories, man. Just count the calories. It's that simple. And I think a lot of people overthink this whole diet thing. Um, start something new every day. Anyway, don't start anything new every day. Download an app. Count the calories for the goal weight you want to get down to. And eventually, with time and effort, you'll get there. That's all it is. Time and effort. Two things. Give it like six months and put in a, put in the least amount of effort. Put in like 20% of effort. And I promise you, you'll get there. Promise. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Okay. What next? Let's talk about Netflix. You know what? Let's talk about Netflix. Cause I could talk about this in my podcast. All right, dude, I swear to God, I will fight you. I will fight you. I could talk about Netflix, man. Netflix is tanking. Why is it tanking? <sighs> They're losing subscribers. They're losing revenue. I think they lost $17 billion this year. $17 billion. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 billion. It's crazy. Disney is taking out The Office, Moana, just a bunch of Disney movies because they're coming out with something just like Netflix. And, um, pretty much taking off all their movies, rightfully so, because it's their movies, and um, leaving Netflix in the dust, essentially. Just leaving them in the dust. So, uh, It's funny because Disney, at this point, and everybody knows it, is very corrupt. Um, Disney is milking these live-action movies in which nobody asked for, and people are talking about Little Mermaid being an African-American, being p portrayed as an African-American woman in, in the live-action movie. I don't want 
Little Mermaid to be portrayed by anybody because I don't think Little Mermaid ever needed this. I don't think Aladdin ever needed this. I don't think Little Mermaid ever needed this. I didn't think any of this stuff should have been made. I'm sorry. That's just the way I feel. Why, why did I need Will Smith as a genie? I never sat there and said, I never watched Robin Williams do his insanely legendary version of the genie and say, you know what? This should be played by Will Smith. I don't think any of these movies should exist. And I, don't, I, I genuinely don't know why they do. I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't know why they exist. And um, Disney is milking this, trying to make as much money as they can in the little bit of time they have. Every single one of these movies are getting billions of dollars, guys. And if you haven't seen this trend yet, then, you know, hop on because you're missing out. Um, it's just repulsive. Uh, Disney bought out ESPN. They had a billion dollar deal with Fox. They bought out Fox. They own ABC. They own, uh, they own all of Disney itself is already their own thing. And, um, I think they own a lot more. It's just, I don't really know what they own. It's like, dude, damn. Now they're going to come out with something just like Netflix, which means that they're going to have to take all their stuff and put it on their own software instead of Netflix's software, which is absolutely absurd. Uh, it's absolutely insane, and I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Um, just can't. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, yeah. Disney's movies were making billions of dollars. So look at it this way. They came out with a live-action uh, Beauty and the Beast. Then they came out with this new Aladdin one. Uh, Lion King, Little Mermaid, they're making, what else? I know there's, there's a live action other one that they made recently. Hmm. Maybe I'm missing it. But, uh, I just don't think any of them should be made. And it's like, why are you making all of this other than profit? What could be the reason? You know? Moana was genius. Moana was genius. I absolutely adored Moana. That movie. That movie, I'll never forget it. I was in New York City. I was in a, I was in a hotel room in New York City, getting ready to just go out. And a girl that I was dating at the time told me to watch Moana. And uh, I still talk to like everybody that watches this movie, and they say they love it. I absolutely love it. Um, just don't understand why they have to remake these Moana movies. I don't understand why, I don't know, or these live, these old classic Disney movies. Like the Lion King movie, I don't need to see this. I love the old Lion King movie. Disney is just getting so greedy, man. Damn. So greedy. Netflix is tanking. Uber stocks are are trash. Everything is just the whole world. It's just all it's anarchy. The whole world is going ballistic. Just joking. Um, anyway, I hope you guys liked this episode. We talked about exercise, talked about Netflix, talked about Disney. Uh, 15, 20 minute podcast or what I'm going to do right now up until I get more subscribers. By the time I get like 100 subscribers, uh, I'll start making like 30 to 40 minute videos. It's just the thing is. I have no money. <laughs> I just started a job after college. So I have no money. Um, I need pr a production team. So that way I can come home one day and I know everything that's happening. Okay, I come home and some person from my production team is like, oh, we're going to talk about this, this, this today. And I'm like, oh, okay. Right now I don't have that. Right now I just t pick the topics like run of the mill. Like I just, you know, while I'm at break for lunch, I'm just like, uh, oh, let's talk about Netflix. So, um, you know, I think that personally with more time and more subscribers, I will gain more confidence and I'll have my own team in which – is there bleach on my shirt? <laughs> on my own team who will come in here and create my videos. I can't do this on my own. I need ghost producers or, or just producers. <laughs> yeah, dude, I need a team, man. I need a team. 
I'm just trying to be like the next Ace family. Except minus the kid and the other kid and the girl. And being mixed and being tall and... Um, yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to be the next Philip DeFranco. Actually, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, you know what? The Philip DeFranco show. The Ali Swor show. All right? By the way, leave some comments on what you think I should title this show. Um, if you're new here, subscribe, share, like, and comment. Comment. Even if it's a horrible comment. Somebody commented the other day, is this a joke? No, this isn't a freaking joke. This, this is a serious podcast. I take this stuff real seriously. All right, man? You're a joke. <laughs> How you like that, bro? Were you like, what, what? What if you were walking? What if you were just walking down the street and somebody's like, oh, are you a joke? No. <laughs> yeah, bro. Everybody, you uh, what? You would be like, nah, I, I'm not a joke. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I say. I say I'm not, I'm not a joke. So I'm not. This is not a joke. This is serious. Some of my coworkers were like, wow, you have a podcast? Wow. And they didn't subscribe because um, that's just the kind of people they are. Uh, that's how amazing my coworkers are. And I was like, um, yeah, I have a podcast, you know. I'm not ashamed. I don't think daily of deleting this thing at all. The only thing that's holding me back is that I spent thousands of dollars on this equipment. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and mainly share. I would love for you guys to share this with your family and friends so that way they can subscribe and I can gain some traction. Um, I hope you love this episode and I hope you love the new setup and the microphone and the camera. And I'll see you guys to- tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. See you guys sometime this week for the next video.